Welcome to Continuing Conversations, a podcast presented by VCU Continuing and Professional Education. I'm Connor Lobb, and on this show, I interview different leaders in the field of continuing education. This week, my guest is Lloyd Young, Associate Director of Communications for the VCU Da Vinci Center. I hope you enjoy the episode. Okay, here I am with Lloyd. So excited to have you on the podcast. You are the the first person from Da Vinci we've had on the podcast. This is pretty cool. Da Vinci is a really interesting um, part of ECU. I, I took a, um, a class there last summer for my master's program, which was really interesting and just a new way to approach business and um, uh, thinking because I took design thinking, which we might talk about later. But um, so, yeah, so I'm just excited to have you on the show. So just uh, the first question, since we'll be talking about digital badges on this episode, primarily so just for everybody who doesn't know may not be familiar with that what is a a digital badge Lloyd well thanks for having me Connor um I love podcasts and I'm excited to be on this one um and like you said the VCU Da Vinci Center um is a cross-disciplinary center for innovation and entrepreneurship for VCU and so the way that we um kind of approach all of our offerings is through um, a model that combines academic, exper- experiential, um, and experimental um, programs. And so we do a lot of things. We have a master's program and some undergrad certificates. And like you said, some classes open to all um, students uh, around design thinking, human-centered design, entrepreneurship, and innovation. Um, but we also offer a, a ton of programs outside of for credit um, opportunities. So that would be like design jams, um, workshops, pre-accelerators, and um, and and now we have Shift Retail Lab where there's an opportunity for students to kind of present their product in a retail environment and get customer feedback. So that just kind of being who we are and what we what, what we do on campus, um, we were, you know, during the pandemic thinking of ways to um, offer specific skills for students and community members that, that so they could add those skills to their resume. Um, again, in that kind of area of what we of our expertise, which is entrepreneurship, design thinking, and human centered design. Um, so we started doing research and found out about the um, BCU continuing and professional education's uh, work with Credly badges. And so for us, we were really just looking for a way to. Um, offer these skills. And again, we, we're always committed to academic and non-academic um, opportunities. Um, and so that's kind of how we started. And that's my, de- my definition of a digital badge would be an award or acknowledgement of um, a certain skill, you know. But... Yeah, yeah, definitely. So like my office does a lot of work uh, around the university with digital badges. We have we have a web page for it. We'll, we'll link that at the end of the, of the episode. And there's many different skills you can you can um, become sort of badged in. So, like for instance, um, well, I won't I won't go through a list of all the skills, but like like Lloyd, like Lloyd was saying, a digital badge is like a way to show that you've sort of completed structured learning around a skill or kind of like taking a class about a skill. So you can put these things on your email um, to show that you've like you were. Um, So like something we're going to talk about is the VCU Entrepreneurship Academy in the episode. So there's a lot of like, it's like skills-based learning and it's a way to show that you've, you've achieved these skills, like I was saying. So um, I really, I mean, you can learn so many different skills at the VCU Da Vinci Center, which I think is one of the really great things about it. Cause there's, there's like a sort of like a, there's like engineering, artistry and business are kind of like your three pillars that you guys operate around. Is that right? That, that, I mean, yeah, we, we, we started as an experiment with um, a project that was with engineering, business, and arts. Um, and so those have been our three main um, schools and uh, colleges around campuses that we collaborate with. But we have grown to serve like the whole university. Um, Which is really because I remember in the I remember when I was an undergrad because I went to VCU for undergrad and my master's, I would like. I like I heard about Da Vinci and I always wanted to take, there's like a one credit. I don't know if you'll still have like the one credit intro to sort mm-hmm. of like, what is it, intro to innovation, right? Uh, we, I think we have an intro, introduction to entrepreneurship. Um, yeah. But we yeah. have so many more introductory uh, undergrad classes too. And the, the space is so cool. Cause you'd like, I would like go over there and it would just be like, people are like writing on like big whiteboards on the wall and everyone's like talking about like the app they're designing. And you're like, what? <laughs> are we in California? What's going on right now? This is crazy. 
Um, so it's, it's a really cool space and they do a lot of really interesting work like, and, and like you were saying, like with the, with the pandemic hitting a lot of things about learning changed and a lot of like ways to approach learning changed. And you had to be able to show the skills that you were learning in like an online class, which was like, it's just, everything is different. Um, and maybe like people want to know that you in your online class learned all these skills. So it sounds like y'all were doing the research and, and saw that there was like this kind of new, new ish, newer move to like take digital badges and make them important and put them on your, your like social uh, media profiles and your digital, your digital footprint needs to be sort of like, these are the things I know how to do. And I did it through like um, a structured way and I can show what I've learned. So it sounds like you found out about our office um, cause we've, we've been yeah. doing university wide badging work with lots of different people. Um, so that being said, like digital badges in general, we I mean, we've been saying that like you can use them to show what you've learned and show mm -hmm. that you're like proficient in these things that can help with jobs that can help with kind of whatever you need to, 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 to do. Um, so what kind of, what kind of value would you say a digital badge brings to the people who earn them? Yeah, we're, we're still learning, um, for our audiences. But I know that the value that we intended to, and we we're starting to see some um, metrics come out around this, are just, you know, in entrepreneurship and innovation. Innovation is a very big word, uh, entrepreneurship second in just vagueness, you know. So, yeah. I mean, it, it, <laughs> like you're saying, putting some structure or um, how to communicate kind of the skill sets that the our users, which aren't, aren't all students, it's students, alumni, and community members. Um, so our users having a having a badge from our institution, the Da Vinci Center, you know, I mean that that just we're hoping that that gives a credibility um, for a lot of things, whether it's employment, seeking employment, um, or uh, like one thing I've learned through Shift Retail Lab is that in, especially in the food entrepreneur space. Having these kinds of credentials on your LinkedIn, um, banks look at that for loans, you know, because food entrepreneurs are heavily, oh. you know, so I mean, it's, it's, that was something that was unexpected, but that was the same kind of intention where it's like giving cool. some, some credentials from us because we, we, we do consider ourselves experts um, in this field to give some kind of credentials where that can just give more opportunities to the, um, the participants in our in our in our badge programs. So I think that's really cool to just know loans are another option for certain audiences that, um, you know, when you're building a food business, it, it, education isn't really a part of that process. It's not like, oh, you go through this program and then this program and then you own a, a restaurant. I mean, it's a very different kind of field. And so yeah. being able to offer a credential that would give somebody some um, credibility in, you know, just starting a business and getting that, that the resources they need. I think that, that that's such a good point um, with the, uh, what was the word you just used? Like sort of like making making your learning official, um, mm -hmm. sort of like the um, showing the authenticity of what you've learned is like, cause I think we've all seen, you know, somebody's profile and it's like, what do you do? Like I'm a founder and CEO. I'm right. Like, like a what? <laughs> like I'm an entrepreneur. Like, like I'm not like not shade to anybody, of course, but it's like, you, there's, there's like a, there's a skepticism around sort mm -hmm. of like, there's, there's no backup to what you're saying. Like, whereas like, what are you, um, what are you showing? And I think a digital badge is cool because you can like, well, like I literally did all this stuff and these are, I, and you can click on a digital badge and look at all the data behind it and be like, this is exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. Exactly what I can do for you. So it sounds like that's so cool with the food entrepreneurship, like to have that be, to have a digital badge from VCU help somebody secure a bank loan. Mm -hmm to open their restaurant or whatever, like food truck, whatever right. it is like in yeah. Richmond, that's super cool. Yes. And that, that didn't was, necessarily yeah. exist before. Yes. So yeah, that, that's again, something that was super exciting to kind of learn along this journey. Um, but yeah, the intention was just to say, you know, we know that we serve a population of, you know, we call ourselves the Vinci Center for a reason. People that are kind of jack of all trades, Mm -hmm. probably every family member in, in our students lives say what do you do that's what my parents say to me you know yeah. um so kind of just having some credibility and some specificity on the kind of skill sets that that we that are in innovation um entrepreneurship and you know design thinking just like they're they are employable skills they are also you know skills that help someone be successful out in the market um in anything they do so that's awesome so um I think we've talked, we've, we've got, we're getting into this a little bit, but more specifically, we could, we could focus in on 
on, on what you do at, at DaVinci, which is a, a part of what you do at DaVinci, which is centered around the Shift Retail Lab, correct? Mm -hmm. So we could talk, why don't we talk a little bit about the uh, VCU Entrepreneurship Academy, which we, which my office badges and how that relates to the Shift Retail Lab. Yes. So VCU Entrepreneurship Academy um, is definitely a team effort for, for DaVinci. My, my part in it is the Shift Retail Lab, but um, so we received a grant with VCU Real, Jackson Ward Collective and Activation Capital um, from the ACPLU for um, accessibility and digital literacy and um, entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial skill set. So we worked with those groups and talked about micro-credentialing was a big topic um, in that, that decision. And so when we received the grant, we had decided that we wanted to create a series of micro-credentials um, and title it the VCU Entrepreneurship Academy. And again, this is something that ser um, serves the community and um, the VCU community as well. So um, the, the badges that we develop for this are Introduction to Design Thinking, Introduction to the Business Model Canvas, Introduction to Digital Literacy, and The Art of the Pitch. So all introductory, um, kind of thinking that if you complete any of these you know, that's a skill set that you can advertise for yourself, but the having the whole academy is saying that you've really gotten a foundation in um, design thinking and entrepreneurial, um, like your baseline skill set. So that's what we started in 2020. And then also in 2021, we launched the Shift Retail Lab, where we have what we call shelfies. And so a shelfie is somebody that applies to present their work on the shelves at, at, at Shift. <laughs> And so they have to go through a boot camp, they get a stipend, um, and they have a series of programs, programming and events to help them in their three week. It's a really fast accelerated process. But another requirement is that they complete the VCU Entrepreneurship Academy. So again, using these micro credentials everywhere we can to, to build that foundation um, for all, all of the users that we can, or all of our audiences that we talk to. So what's like, do you give like an example of some, something that a person has completed in the the sh like in this VCU entrepreneurship academy shift retail space like do you have like an example of like an outcome that somebody was able to like what they sort of like came away from it with outside of the badge because they, they're working on like a like a business or a product right business product or idea I mean yeah. I what I love about shift is that you know we're a college campus it's the best time while you're at college to go and take a risk and just say I have this idea and just see how it goes because if even working through that idea, if it becomes like a quote unquote failure, you know, that's a lesson that you take to your next venture or, you know, idea or something like that. Um, but there's just, there's a huge variety of what we've seen at shift from um, someone that has become now fully like, you know, funded and has quit their day job and is in fundraising and an accelerator program to um, other students, like the food category, again, has been kind of the most unique uh, for me because there's just a lot more to learn about food entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurism than there is about regular, um, like anything else that you could kind of display in a retail environment. So, you know, the food students, they need more than the prototyping environments and labs that we can offer. So, you know, now we're kind of partnering or working with the Hatch um, community kitchen. And so these students mm, are now yeah. becoming members there and then scaling. So that's been really cool to see that. But we also see healthcare solutions with um, partnerships with the medical campus, uh, tech, Bitcoin, crypto, you know, even, you know, some, there's one student that's like going to take on Google and Facebook, you know, and make a new <laughs> digital network or something like that. So it's just a lot of different ideas. And we do think that these micro credentials kind of can help any of those kind of categories um, to, to become a little bit more successful, more informed. And the whole intention of Shift and the VCU Entrepreneur, uh, Entrepreneurship Academy is to help people get to their, you know, desired outcome quicker and more successfully because taking risks can really, you know, set you back a lot. And the more information yeah. and the more process that you can bring to it, it's that whole prototyping idea. You go, you just keep iterating, you know, may not, you might have to pivot, you might have to change, you might have to bail, but um, being able to come at a problem and say, okay, this one's gonna work and this is how we're gonna do it. And, or maybe this one needs more help and we'll, we'll, we'll rethink it or something like that. And like, you know, regardless of, it's not, I mean, it's not, it's cool. I think the thing that like, you know, in, in life terms, what I've learned as I've become an adult person is just like all the things that you try and you like don't get done. It's just like fuel for the next thing. And 
with, I mean, it sounds like in the shift retail lab, VCU entrepreneurship Academy, like kind of space, it's like, you know, maybe your thing goes perfectly and you're, and it, and it works like in, in terms of like how you were thinking it would work, but maybe like you just learn all these great skills and then I'm, and then you can look at like the, um, on our website, we have on the, on the continuing and professional education website, there's a link to you where you can look at all the digital badges that we offer. So if you look at the VCU entrepreneurship sort of like badge and the suite of classes inside it, there's all these, there's buttons that um, correspond to the skills that you learn that, that, that Da Vinci teaches in the, in the, um, in, in the VCU entrepreneurship Academy badge. And there's like a skill that's uh, um, that says, for instance, like design thinking, which is something I did in a class, which was really cool. And it was not what I thought it would be. Um, and I, w I won't like, you know, d get into like a detailed thing of exactly what design thinking is, maybe Lloyd could, but like there's uh, top job titles in this button that you can follow. So it's like, maybe you're working on a badging thing like the Entrepreneurship Academy and you're working on your business thing and you maybe like, you know, it doesn't like, exactly come out how you envisioned it which is what happens a lot in life i've found but you learn a bunch of skills and you can go get a sweet job working for whoever using all the things you just learned and if they ever wonder like is this guy or person or whoever legit you're like well like look at my badge look at all the stuff i learned like it's you know i am legit you know what i mean yeah it's, it's pretty sweet um so yeah i mean I, th I think that that's really cool i think the food entrepreneurship piece of all this is really like it's not something i was expecting to hear and it sounds like it's something you weren't expecting to experience no yeah I like wow students. yeah that's awesome so um is there any is there anything in terms of the vcu entrepreneurship academy and the shift retail lab that you really want people to know that like um is something you're like wishing would be trumpeted more in general yeah, thank you. That's a great question. I mean, number one, Shift is really brand new. We just opened the doors in January. So just getting the word out is, you know, I mean, just having people understand that it's it exists and that it's available. I mean, I know it's uncomfortable for some people, myself included, to walk into a new space without really understanding what it is. But I mean, this space is just a fun space, co-working, you know, walking around kind of like a gallery type space. So just having people know that it's there and that both the Shift Retail Lab and the VCU Entrepreneurship, Entrepreneurship Academy. They're free resources with a really enthusiastic team um, behind, the, behind them to help you get, help anyone kind of, I don't know, just start thinking about ideas, uh, testing them out and seeing where it goes. I mean, that's just kind of what we, what we love to do. We, we like to be very curious and um, experiment. <laughs> so you said it's a free, so like who, who are these, are the badges available to also? The badges are uh, are available to uh, BCU student, current students, alumni, and then we started the with the grant. We were um, saying community members that were coming through Jackson Ward Collective and Activation Capital, but now it's open. Um, it's really open to anyone um, because they're they're free micro credentials. Again, they're introduction in, introductory. So you know if you wanted to take it further, you know, into our programs um, to dive deeper, but they are just introductory micro credentials available. Um, and Shift Retail Lab also current students, alumni, um, and then if, you know, anyone through the Jackson Ward Collective and Activation Capital, they're members, but in the small business community in Richmond, it's also just kind of like open for um, collaboration, whether it's being a part of the Shelfie program in our, in our Da Vinci programming, or if it's a rental of the space for like a pop-up, you know, or um, a takeover kind of thing. So it's just, it's a really cool event space open to all outside of the um, programming that we offer too. And you're, y'all are still at the location, um, like on Gray Street, right? We, uh, we have offices um, on like over by the Monroe Park um, Cathedral, but, yeah. um, but shift is, I would say probably more of our front door right now. There's some construction mm -hmm. going on over here. So shift on Broad Street, right across from Siegel Center. Um, the summer we have reduced hours for just Friday, 11 to one, but during the school year, there are more open hours. Um, but there's also, you know, a website, shift retail lab um, at vcu.edu and emailing i mean you'll email me so i, I will always answer the email and email Lloyd. <laughs> for, yeah and for i mean it, it really is just this is the first year it's open we we were awarded a 
um, honorable mention from Fast Company's two, uh, 2022 World Changing Ideas. So, I mean, in a very mm -hmm. short amount of time, we've been um, great, getting a lot of traction and it's my total goal to just collaborate with as many people um, in the community to see what Shift can, can offer. And um, and I, want, I don't wanna misspeak. So you said that the Shift, Shift is a free resource or Shift is part of, so Shift is a free resource. Like, yeah. Come Again, on. It, yeah, like it's it's we're figuring out how to collaborate, but yeah, I mean anyone in the community, we we host a lot of meetups um, just for local chapters of groups. Um, so it's a meeting space, it's an event space, um, it's a retail space that can be taken over for a pop up for a, a, a local business, um, you know anything like that. I mean it's just it's a kind of just a blank, awesome space that can be shifted, you know, pun intended, into any purpose. <laughs> And I do want I to give a it. shout out to the brand center. Um, the brand center students came up with our, our branding for shift early in this process. And it, it, I use that word way more than I ever knew I did. <laughs> so they, they nailed it. That's funny. You've, 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 uh, thank you. Shout out to brand center. That's a cool spot too. Brand <laughs> yeah. center is very interesting. Um, so I guess in, in, as we're, as we're, as we're thinking about digital badges and and like this sort of some like new modes of learning and just trying to do interesting things to like improve people's education and their lives and their dreams and their hopes and all the things that you want to be going after in life um what's what do you think is the wh how do you think digital badges are going to change how people approach professional development because i think some people think about professional development and it's like you go to and no, again there's nothing wrong with any of these things but everything is changing now in a lot of different ways Professional development maybe in some people's heads is like you go to like a conference and you like have to get on a plane and you have to like fly there and it's like a lot of time and it's money. Digital badges are like a lot like less resource intensive for you. There's even there's free spaces. There's a lot of like different ways you can interact with it. So in terms of digital badges, how do you think that they approach? How do you think they will change people's approach to seeking professional development? I, that's a big topic that we've talked about for the past two years. Um, just building this, the academy out is, you know, who, who's going to use this? Is it going to matter? Um, and pre COVID or pre pandemic, I, I was, I would go to conferences and they still did give credly badges during those things. So, you know, I do remember back then that I was kind of like, eh, you know, like I, I thought a conference life was just a little, you know, felt like too salesy and I didn't really understand, but going through this process, I mean, the, the hope is whether it's, digital badging or another solution is to, you know, make uh, learning and credibility more accessible um, and in general, like that's our goal is just saying like, you know, we're an academic institute, we're part of an academic institution and we believe in higher education, but we wanna make sure that the, that the skill sets are available to anyone um, again in entrepreneurship and innovation, it's just being a curious person is, I, is our only prerequisite, you know, so um, wanting to be able to reach as many people. I think that, you know, a democratization is kind of the, the potential of digital badging. And I hope that that is where it goes is that it becomes something that can supplement or even be an alternative to um, mainstream credentialing. I mean, it's like, I think that's really, I mean, I feel like accessibility is, Again, it's like another thing I've learned as I've gotten older is like accessibility is like such a big thing in so many ways, like beyond um, uh, like I, th I think of, I think about accessibility. The first thing that would always come to mind is like captioning or whatever, mm -hmm. but it just really goes way beyond that to like not everybody can not like 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 you say, we're part of a higher education institution. We support higher education but not everybody can has the time or resources to do that. So if you have something like, I like your, I love your example of the food entrepreneurs. Like if you have something that's free, that you can go to a fantastic institution that is respected like VCU and go to the Da Vinci Center, which is like this big innovation, like just like dripping innovation and cool stuff. And like, there's a lot of great stories that come out of the Da Vinci Center. You can get like a free credential that says, that says entrepreneurship on it mm -hmm. and you can put it on your LinkedIn when you're trying to start your food truck and then you get a freaking bank loan 
<laughs> or, or it helps. Yeah. It's, or, or, yeah, or, yeah, or, yeah. Yeah. Or it helps you in the smallest way possible, get a bank loan. Cause right. they see like the VCU branding on your thing. And you're like, cool. That's great. That's a huge deal. Yeah. Um, so that makes it like levels the playing field. You know, it's like the, um, this is a slight tangent, but have you, have you seen like the, uh, there's like an illustration that shows the differences between like equality, equity, and then the third one, I can't, I should know what it is, but it's like, it, it's an illustration of like three people standing off at a fence trying to watch a baseball game. Like and it shows, well, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. And it's like, and it, it just shows like the difference between those things. And this is just like leveling the playing field in a way that's fair for inequitable for people. You know what I mean? Cause it's like the person with the entrepreneurship badge has more of a leg up now with what they're trying to do when they can't necessarily, they don't have access to like a different level of um, pursuing education like other people might be able to. Um, I think, it's, yeah. So I, I think um, opening, opening the doors to more and more people is always, is always the goal. Right. Um, yeah. And in, and for us specifically, like I keep saying, you know, entrepreneurship, innovation, even design thinking is like, what is that? You know, I mean, so yeah. pe people may not even know that the Da Vinci Center exists or that programs that we offer in higher ed exist. So it's kind of, you know, it's, it's not just a recruitment tool, but it's kind of a awareness tool too, to say like, you know, here's some introductory, you know, credential, micro credentials that you can earn some credly badges to get, but also, Hey, this is an introduction to kind of who we are. And if you are looking for um, programs uh, and opportunities in higher education, maybe you didn't think, Oh, I could go to school to start a venture, you know, but you can <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, it's like, we literally have a school for that at VCU yeah. <laughs> yeah. and you could totally do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if I've, uh, so I think like, I, I feel like we've talked a lot about a lot of cool stuff and I, I think that, um, if I could put you on the spot a little bit to just talk, just end the episode on what do you think that innovation entrepreneur, like the thing, the three things you just said, where people are like, what's that? Like, I think you would be a great resource to sort of answer that question for somebody who's thinking about dipping their toes into getting a digital badge or going to the alt or the, um, I'm sorry, the shift retail lab. Mm -hmm. So like, could you answer for somebody who is in, who is a creative person who wants to do their own thing, follow their own path, has thought about DaVinci, maybe wants to put their toe in the water with some badging, which you can get through my office, which is super cool. What are those three things, um, the like innovation, um, entrepreneurship, and the third one I can't remember right now, but if you design could, thinking, yeah. yeah, design thinking, if you could sort of uh, let people know what those are. You are putting me on the spot, <laughs> 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 but um, I guess the, the easiest way to say it is again, I feel like if you're a jack of all trades person, if that kind of um, statement resonates with you where your interests are not linear or in one industry or category, if you just are a cross-disciplinary interested complex person that um, has big, you know, big ambitions or just likes to experiment, um, I think that's, that's what would get you into innovation. I mean, innovation and entrepreneurship aren't just about being in a lab or starting a venture. It's also about the way that you approach your employment um, and your relationship with the world. So I think it's, you know, as a jack of all trades person, I think that my take on the type of student that is attracted and successful with the Vinci Center is somebody that is led by passion and would like to make a difference in the world. Beautiful. I love it. And, and, and it's cool, you know, and it's great because all the things that you just described can kind of be quantified in a digital badge. So instead of being like, you know, just being like, Hey, like I'm passionate, I'm innovative. I want to do these things. People can be like, okay, cool. But now it's like, now I have a badge like from VCU. Mm -hmm. That's like, I did all this stuff. So like, let's do it. So it's, it's perfect. It's beautiful. Um, okay. Well, thank you so much for coming on and, and talking about all this, all this stuff. Um, all these wonderful things. Um, and is there anything you want to add at the end? No, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you. All right, cool. Great. Thanks for, thanks for coming on. 
Thanks for listening to the episode. I had a great time talking with Lloyd. If you want to learn more about digital badging, visit ocpe.vcu.edu slash badges. And to find more about the VCU Da Vinci Center, the Shift Retail Lab, and the Shift Retail Lab, visit davincicenter.vcu.edu.